G'day, Jeff Lewis here from Seriously Series and welcome to another little review video. Here today what I'm going to be talking about is camp ovens and in particular the two probably most predominant camp ovens out there on the market. The cast iron variety and the spun steel or the Binduli camp oven. What's the go with the two? Which one's the best and what could possibly work for you on your next adventure? So if you want to find out this and more then you know what to do. Be sure to support Seriously Series on Patreon, click on that subscribe button down below, click on that notification button too, but most importantly, stay tuned. Right, so here we are. Now, the Binduli camp oven is obviously made of pressed steel. Cast iron is made of cast iron, or the cast iron camp oven. Now, camp ovens themselves, or Dutch ovens, have been around for centuries. But these two have a great deal of advantages and disadvantages. I'll start off with the spun steel or the Binduli camp oven because this is one that's probably a little bit lesser known in adventure and off-road going circles. The tail associated with it, or the tail I like to think that's associated with it, uh, I first read about in a book written by Jack Absalom. And the story goes that there were some drovers on a station called Binduli Station. And they actually came up with the idea of making a pressed steel camp oven primarily because the cast iron variety was very heavy, but also when the straps on the packs on the pack horses broke and these packs had come flying down onto the ground and hit a rock, the cast iron camp oven would actually crack, shatter and be obliterated. Whereas the spun steel is obviously a lot more malleable. Yes, it will bend, but you can actually knock it back into shape and you can use it again. So that's obviously outlines probably two of the key advantages with the spun steel or the Binduli camp oven. From my own experience, and I've been cooking on this camp oven now for about five years, I've found it works really, really well in desert environments. The reason being is a lot of the wood in arid areas, not like here in the great western woodlands, is quite ashy. You don't get the nice big embers or coals that you generally get when you're cooking with, you know, using gum or eucalyptus. So this means you need a lot more wood to get the same amount of heat and energy that's required with half as many coals from eucalyptus, but it also means that you've got to use a lot more wood to heat up and maintain the heat in your cast iron camp oven just purely because it is a lot thicker. Now because this is thinner I can use less wood, I can use less embers and the wood itself doesn't need to be you know as big or as dense. I can use just mere stink sticks and that's enough to obviously cook a roast, do scones, damper, cakes and all the rest that we do here at Seriously Series. The other thing is too, as you can notice, there's quite a considerable difference in size. Uh, this one is a four and a half QT camp oven, Oz Trail. And this one here, I can't remember how many inches it is, but it is considerably larger as we can see. But both of these camp ovens weigh the same. So that's quite interesting, I think. Now, there are advantages with the cast iron camp oven over the Penduli camp oven. And I may be contradicting myself a little bit here, so I do apologize. Cast iron is fantastic to cook on, it's brilliant. And it's really good if you can actually get that heat into it. You'll be able to get a much more even heat out of, camp, out of a cast iron camp oven than you will out of a spun steel camp oven. 
So that's certainly one of the advantages. The other advantage is, is that cast iron is very porous. So you can actually season it much better than what you can get by using spun steel. Other than that, they'll, do, they'll pretty much both do the same job. You've just got to obviously change your cooking style or baking style ever so slightly. Now when it comes to buying a camp oven, one of the things that I certainly recommend doing, and it depends on what you're going to cook, is try and go for one that's sort of middle of the range. Don't go for the cheapest and the nastiest ones because you will find, even just looking in your camping store, the thickness of the actual cast steel will be infinitely thinner on the cheaper and nastier camp ovens compared to the more expensive ones. I've been very happy and very impressed with this Austral one, but there are better ones out there. And it's about picking a brand that's obviously quite good because you obviously want the cast steel to be of reasonable quality. If it's poor quality, then you're gonna get hot spots and uneven cooking and uneven distribution of the heat within the camp oven itself. But anyway, as I said, this is just a bit of a video, bit of a review, bit of a brief overview of these two styles of camp ovens. Um, it's great fun. I think it's the best thing you can take away with you. And everything that you can cook at home, you can cook in these. And one of the best things about it is the fuel that they require for you to bake and cook in doesn't cost you a cent. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And if you are enjoying the content here at Seriously Series, then please do consider supporting us on Patreon. All proceeds go to the production of these videos and a heck of a lot more. And if you're new to the channel, then please do click on that subscribe button down below. Click on that notification button too. It doesn't cost you a cent and you'll get weekly updates as these videos come out. And if you've liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up. Makes all the difference. Anyway, I hope to see you in our next video.